everyone, I'm Sally. Welcome again to Pandan Diary. Christmas is coming. In the previous video, I've made Christmas fondant cupcakes and Christmas fondant cake topper. And this time, I made special cupcakes. The first time I saw it, I was immediately interested in making it. Before we start, if you like to decorate cakes, consider subscribing Pandan Diary because I will make interesting cake decorating videos. Don't forget to turn on the bell so you will get notification when I upload a new video. Without any further ado, let's get started. This time, I made snow globe cupcakes with gelatin bubbles, but I have tried twice before to make gelatin bubbles and it always failed. I tried using powder gelatin and also gelatin seeds, but both failed. However, there was a bright spot in failure, so I tried again and it worked. To make gelatin bubbles, you'll need gelatin powder, small balloons, skewers, strong duct tape, and styrofoam. First, blow the balloon according to the size of the cupcake. Then, tie the ends of the balloon two or three times. And don't forget to wash the balloon first before using it. Next, stick the end of the balloon to the skewers using duct tape and strong duct tape. And the width of the balloon is about 7 cm. Next, wipe with a tissue that is given cooking oil to the entire surface of the balloon. And add more cooking oil when the tissue is dry. Next, mix 100 grams of powdered gelatin with 300 milliliters of cold water. And let the gelatin bloom for 10 minutes in room temperature. After that, heat the gelatin on the stove while stirring until it melts, no need to boil. Then remove the tiny bubbles to create clear gelatin bubbles. When the gelatin is not hot, dip the balloon in the gelatin that is liquid like water. If the gelatin has thickened like honey, it should be heated while stirring because the gelatin must be in a liquid state like water. And let the gelatin drip down to the last drop. After waiting for 10 minutes, dip a second time gelatin balloon into the melted gelatin again. Then dry the gelatin at room temperature for at least 24 hours or until the gelatin has hardened on the balloon. When the gelatin has hardened like this, it's ready to be opened. Because of the oil, the bubble still looks not clear, so I use a tissue that is given a little water to clean the inside of the bubble, and don't water too much. Then dry the bubble again, because it is exposed to water, it will soften a little. If when open, the balloon makes the gelatin bubble mess like this, then use a dry balloon to blow it into the gelatin bubble and tidy up again. Now it's time to make snow globe cupcakes and I have made the Christmas cupcake toppers tutorial in this other video. Ok next, put buttercream on the top of the cupcake. Put the cake topper, give sprinkles. For a snow effect, sprinkle icing sugar on top, then place the gelatin bubble.
here it is, the Christmas no glue cupcakes. So I made some conclusions on the mistakes I made. I made these gelatin bubbles using gelatin seeds and the result was the bubbles were very thin and didn't harden so that they shrank following the balloon. Some bubbles couldn't get out of the balloon because I didn't use enough oil on the balloon. And also some of the bubbles were not perfectly round either because I used gelatin which was starting to thicken. Thank you all for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and share to your friends.